Sessions is presented by McDonald's. I'm Sandushka Petrova. I'm the singer and guitar player of the Scarpe Sacant. The band started in 2001 in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. The band started like with this mission to do something that you can put it easily in a box you know, or label it. So I guess it's like a confluence of conflictive emotions. The band started to get a lot of attention in the media. Things happens like opening concerts for some youth and yeah, 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 yes. And that was like the moment that make like a parenthesis in our lives. While I was walking today, I realized I was asking myself the same question. El Visor el Lunatic is like an ode to madness, you know? It's like 10 pathological stories with characters that we usually do live. We have grown up, musically speaking, and there's a lot of styles, you know, you can hear from blues to swing and hard punk, so you can find like a huge spectrum of, of music. You can see a bit of this madness on stage. In 2008, it was the first time we came to the United States. The first time we met, it was a blast. The first time we met, it was a blast. A partir de ahí salieron eh, conectas para tocar en, en Rock al Parque en Colombia, Panamá, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, todo Rusia el año pasado. I think when we went to Russia, it's like the best audience ever. In Russia, a festival we were in uh, was a, a, a Mexican culture festival, and there were a lot of mariachis and boleros and everything. You are the only non-traditional stereotype Mexican exactly. music there. You're the best here, yeah, really. Uh, thank you. I love you. And I want to meet you next year. Todo mundo estaba muy impresionado, sobre todo por la sobreexposición de performance, ¿no? Había como mucha teatralidad y eso logró como romper la barrera del idioma y de, y de la música. We play two countries, entirely different countries like Colombia and Russia. There was like a great connection with both, both of those audiences. Our sound is not like a typical Mexican sound. It, it can be heard anywhere. Like we incorporate so many genres and, and styles that I think there there are no boundaries for, for this band. Yeah.